Aloha, friends and family, top of the morning to all you wonderful, beautiful people. Welcome to a Cusco Uncut. Coming to you live and direct from a location that was a request from Harry Tobin, Cascade Constrictors, no, Cascade Critters, that's it. It wasn't really a request, it was more of a demand, it seems like, you gotta, you gotta do a Cusco Uncut there, you gotta do it, and I was like, I think I said what I said, I said, thy will be done, thy will be done, Harry. And I got my buddy Matt with me, he came out to visit, he's riding the bike. Woo. You guys know Matt, he's my source for all my venomous reptiles that I keep, which is one. And... I had some things I was going to talk to you guys about, but I don't remember what now. Now I'm just f trying to focus on not falling on this trail because <laughs> it's dangerous on a one wheel, which is why I'm wearing my helmet. Can't remember anything. That's what I forgot. Can't remember anything, Oh, I can't remember anything. Oh, that's that was, that was, ex that was exactly what the topic was going to be: is the fact that I can't seem to remember anything. Uh, we were having a conversation last night. You guys remember the uncut from Utah that I did with Dave in the hotel room right before we started on the full Utah journey. I said something to the effect of uh, I had never had monkey shoulder before. And Matt was watching that video at home. Monkey shoulder being that, that whiskey, it's a blend of whiskey. Uh, really not my favorite actually at this point, which I proved by not being able to recall that I had actually had it before. Even though I said I had, had, hadn't had it before, I had. I drank it at Matt's house. Matt's watching the video like, what are you talking about, dude? You've never had monkey shoulder before? Except for the time you sat here and drank it with me at my house. And I was like, what? <laughs> so, and then we went down this other path of, of wondering why I didn't remember that. So it prompted me to call my mother who has had experiences where she can't remember things and we make fun of her for it. Um, specifically when it came to a drink and called her and said, hey mom, can you tell us about the, the blue Hawaiian story, how it happened? I had an idea in my head, like how it went, like she was talking about wanting this drink, a blue Hawaiian, and she went to the bathroom, we ordered one, she came back from the bathroom and was like, uh, what is this? I'm like, it's a blue Hawaiian. And then I said, you want it? She's like, what? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, a blue Hawaiian. <laughs> and then my mom, I didn't, I thought I just knew the story. And then she said, yeah, you were there when that happened. And I was like, uh, was I? And so I'm really starting to question how much I remember things versus how much I don't and it's a little disconcerting because I claim to ooh, I claim to know things and remember things and maybe I don't really know or remember anything and I'm not sure why that's important maybe these things that I'm trying to remember are not important what do you think Matt? they are important and I shared that memory with you and you totally forgot it so it's more important to other people. I don't think I need to know anything that I've experienced before. But maybe that's a good reason I'm recording these videos is because I don't know, I don't remember anything anymore. So I need to record it so that we can remember that we had these moments. So from here on out, I'm going to start recording everything so that I can have a place to go back to in case I forget, which seems like it's going to be highly likely. <sighs> This is a beautiful place. I hope you guys come out here to Morro Bay someday. We are still out escaping the smoke of Atascadero, but unfortunately our staycation is over starting today. We'll probably go out and surf. And Matt said that he might capture some wonderful, glorious drone footage of myself catching a wave. So if that's true, I'm gonna put the footage right here. The clip's gonna go right here. Cause it is a Cusco one cut, of course. I, I don't think I even mentioned that. We've just been going. Here's a clip right here of me catching an awesome wave. And if it's not there, one of two things happened. The more likely is that Matt didn't film me catching an awesome wave. The highly unlikely story is that I didn't catch an awesome wave. We're going with number one if it's not right there. And uh, let's go back this way, Matt. I don't know what you're doing behind me there, but I'm sure it was something. Oh my gosh. Hit, go. <laughs> this thing doesn't want to run. There we go, here we go. Oh. We had to turn around right there because if I try to keep going that way it gets very sandy and when it gets real sandy that means that uh, the one wheel definitely doesn't want to go any further. But I'm trying to escape Matt now. Am I doing a good job? 
Oh no, he's still right there. Unbelievable. It's all right, we'll lose him one of these days. There, uh, Matt's a good buddy. I'm gonna put a link for his channel down in the description. Even though, for all of the at least five, six times I've had him on my channel, he's not once ever had me as a guest on his channel. Not even once. Oh, are we talking about my channel? That channel is dead. <laughs> You're supposed to help me revive it. Oh, I'm supposed to help revive the channel. Yes. I've been, I've had you on like, I don't know how many times, like, like I said, four. six, six, four, you say four, I say six, so it's probably something like five. I've got video memory of every time I was there to help us remember how many times exactly it's been. But yeah, whatever, this is, this, this is a one-way collab. <laughs> it's alright though. I, I just wanna, I kinda wanna head back the other direction, the light was a lot better. But I do want to turn around, but we need to get to the, the other end of this tunnel real quick and then we can turn back around How's your guys go day going today? I hope you guys were able to tune in last night to the live stream in my life here I have not experienced the live stream yet because it's still uh, Sunday in my world even though it's Wednesday for you guys I'm Sundaying it really hard And it's getting a little sketchy around here There's things getting caught in my wheel. I can feel them. I can hear them but it's, isn't it fun? Isn't it fun to just cruise down this path? You guys want to see the rock real quick? This is where I did one on the Instagram story. Here comes the rock, get ready. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Look at this tree too, awesome. Oh, oh, oh snap. Oh. <laughs> the rock. Smell what it's cooking. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Morro Bay. Not that we can't come back. I mean, it's like 10, 10 minutes away. And the fortunate thing is, well, nobody asked me about this, but the animals are good. They, they're in the snake room and they've got double filtration happening with the air conditioning unit with its filter, filters the air, and then my humidifier unit is another filter. So it's, they've actually got double filter in there. And if we could all live in the snake room in Atascadero, well, we could, but it's kind of nice to go outside every now and then just like the snakes go outside every now and then, but we've been in the house and we didn't want to sit and just filter it. We wanted real, real life. Ooh, but I got these things I've showed them to you guys plenty of times before, but I want to rehash them. These uh, little monitors, they're, the particular brand I have is called Reptile Guardian, but I think there's other ones out there like Sensor Push and some other ones that are out there if you do some research, but they send little text messages to your phone if something goes out of the parameters. Like if, for example, the hotspot on one of my rack systems goes above 92 degrees, I get a text message and I get to be notified that that's happening. Or if the humidity in my room drops below a certain point, I get a text message. Or if there's some kind of uh, smoke in the air, I've got a little nest system that that's sends a message to my phone as well if it gets above a certain level and then cameras in the room to be able to see what's going on there at all times. I can click in right now. Actually, let's take a look. Let's see what's going on in the snake room right now. I bet not much because I haven't gotten any messages. Wait, you have cameras in there? Oh yeah, I got cameras in there. I should put it back now, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should put it back, Matt. But we're gonna go look at the footage right now. So, let me take a look here. Where is it? Nest, Nest is the type of camera system I use. There's all kinds of camera systems out there. I highly, highly suggest that you guys Let's not look at the footage right now. No, well, I'm gonna look, pull up this footage right now so we can look, take a look at what Matt stole yesterday when we were there cleaning snakes. See this? So I got my, I got my front yard. Come on, camera. Focus. I love that. Was... I got my front yard and then my snake room. If I scroll up, there's another angle of the snake room. Uh, there it is. And so I can kind of see what's going on in there. It's nice, it's peace of mind, it's comforting. I highly recommend that if you don't have some system like that set up, I, I honestly don't know how I ever left my house before without having some kind of system like this set up and it actually had like peace of mind. And then I got my cousin a quarter mile from the house so if something's there that needs like immediate now attention, I got people I can call. Ugh, it's, a, it's a feeling of relief. That's how I'm able to take these little staycation and, and feel comfortable. If I didn't have all that stuff in place, I'd be stressing out every time I left the house, like really, so. That's my little tip for you guys to hopefully have you guys have your own little peace of mind with your own animals whenever you leave your house. I, I highly, 
highly recommend setting something like that up. And that's all I can remember. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our little cuts going to cut today in our little beautiful place that we wanted to take you to. I'm gonna stop right here before I get into the too bright sunlight. See, what? here's what happens if I go a little further. Uh, uh, I guess it still looks good, whatever. Matt, any parting wishes for our, our wonderful viewers here on, on the old uh, YouTube? Just click like and subscribe. This guy needs it, man. <laughs>